Welcome to I've Had Worse, and today, a classic Courage Best, uh, owned by Marsden. Um, and this one was brewed in the Eagle Brewery uh, in Bedford. Um, can't remember having this, but it's been around basically forever. Uh, this one is a four, uh, four points. Huh. This is 3.6, 500 ml bottle. Um, it is 4% in cask and keg, but in bottle, 3.6. And I thought I'd give it a go. Almost hashed. Yay! That is a perfect pour. <laughs> that almost went so horribly wrong. Okay, so given the age uh, of this beer, I thought I would go for a traditional sort of straight sided glass. So, what we've got there is a sort of very pale amber coloured beer. Light carbonation, small head apart, despite my atrocious pouring, which is dissipating, sort of cream coloured. What do we get here? Sort of a rich, sort of malty taste, but not overpowering, but it's it's, it's a full. Some of these things, um, particularly these sort of uh, Uro lagers, which I'm quite fond of, they have a big malty hit, but it, it tends to be, um, it's got a sort of sweet, sickly undernote to it. Um, but this is a more complex than that. Bit of lemon there, perhaps? It's not big, not big aromas, but there's something going on there. Okay, enough waffle. Cheers. Mmm. What a lovely bitterness. Okay. Very biscuity. Nice bitterness there. Not biting, but just nice. A few copper cone coins on the back, uh, back swallow. Let's give it another go. So the initial is a gentle malt, a gentle bitterness, but on the back end it is quite coppery, and the flavour doesn't linger. It's thin, but not too thin. Again, not a big flavour. I mean, this is a. Um, Courage Best has been around for donkey's years. Um, so I can't believe that I haven't tried it, um, but it doesn't stand out. Um, well, it's not sticking in the old memory. Um, and um, mm, for something, yeah. I mean, at, at 3.6, it's quite sessionable. So you can imagine how it will become a staple of, a, of, you know, of a, an evening's drinking without getting your bandy legged. But not a big flavour. Not a big flavour at all. Because copper notes have dissipated now. Okay, let's have a look at the back of the bottle, see if what I'm supposed to be. Courage. Blah, 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 blah. Balanced malt flavour, distinctive hoppy character. Well, there's no... I have much to learn about hops. I've always um, associated hops with bitterness, um, and that may be my ignorance, but uh, and certain types of hops might make it a bit more bitter. But this isn't <coughs> over. Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Madame Drex is dying. <coughs> oh no. So, um, you all right? Let's have a slurp of you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Cough, cough, may I have a slurp? Oh. Spiller? What, what does Madame Director think? Better than the value bitter. F <laughs> fresh air is better than the value bitter. 
Mm. I will post a link. So oh, that's nice. Do you like that? Mm. Okay, well. It's good for the tickle as well. Well, good for the cough, is it? Oh, do you, would you like to finish this one then? <laughs> Same old story. Okay. Again, for a beer that's been around for so long, I don't know. I, it doesn't have a big flavour. I thought that things that stand the test of time usually have bigger flavours. Um, and this is really nothing to, you know, if this is your first time, you went right home to your dad. Um, about this one so found this uh in home bargains about a pound so you know you're not breaking the bank if you want to give it a go a very good beer but not bags of flavor so there you go i hope you enjoy my name ramblings as much as i am uh you know administering cough medicine to my wife uh if you are please consider hitting the like and subscribe cheers <laughs>